It's time again for the Science Bowl. Zoo Parade for Five. What big teeth the hippo has are actually a pair of these. Science Potpourri for Ten. Would a snake most likely eat every day? Every week, Dateline Science for Ten. Why are some elephants wearing necklaces these days? Green things for 15. And now, here's your host, Mr. Z himself, Dave Zarin. Thank you and welcome to this special edition of Science Bowl, the second of our two semifinal games in this year's middle school championship quest. One of today's teams will come back and play Hyattsville for this year's county championship. Let's meet today's teams. First from Kenmore Middle School, please say hello to Shilpa Roy, Hunter Waples, and Jorge Ramirez. And from Samuel Ogle Middle School, please welcome Joshua Bistani Reedman. Austin King and Hannah Flores. And now here are the categories of questions we use on the Science Bowl. Okay, Mr. Z, here's today's categories. Green things, questions about plants and all things green and growing. Zoo Parade, a Noah's Ark of questions about animals. Body systems, we'll see how much you know about yourself, about things like breathing and growing and digesting your food. Let's get physical. Questions that test your knowledge of physics and chemistry, earth science and space science. Then there's science potpourri. Here's a grab bag of science questions. Everything from air pollution to the kitchen zinc. And finally, Dateline Science. We'll ask you about science history and science in the news. Here on Science Bowl, we arrange our game board according to question difficulty with the easier questions on the left worth 5 and 10 points. The tougher ones worth 15, 20, and ultimately 25, the toughest question of them all. Both of our teams start out at 50 points apiece. No penalties ever for incorrect answers. The end of the two rounds today, one of these two very talented teams will come back to play for the county championship, as we were saying, against Hyattsville Middle School. Let's make sure everything works properly. Let's go to the red team. Hunter, would you try your buzzer for me? Thank you, young man. Good luck to you, to Shilpa, and to Jorge. And Austin, would you try yours for me? Green team looks like it's ready and raring to go. Good luck to you, to Hannah, and to Josh. Are we ready, guys? Yes. Let's do this thing. May the better team win. We go alphabetically K before S. So, Hunter, start the ball for us, please. Let's get physical for 25. Get physical for 25 points. Teams, what P initial term describes the phenomenon of rays of light displaying different properties in different directions as when they're reflected from glass in a particular way? That would be polarization. Try again, red. Let's get physical for 20 points. Let's get physical for 20 points. Teams, a planetary gem 40 light years away has been discovered with a layer of diamond 2,500 miles thick overlain with the simplest of carbon molecules. Kenmore? Carbon-6. Not carbon-6. The simplest of carbon molecules that overlays this layer of diamond, Samuel Ogle, is the same material we find in a pencil. Graphite. 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 That's it. Good comeback. Go green. Green things for 25. Green things for 25 points. Teams, pity the poor seed. It has no placenta. It has no yolk. And yet it is sustained by what E initial kind of food can more. Yes, sir? I, I would like to pass to Jorge. Embryo. Not the embryo. What E initial kind of food is stored inside the cotyledons of a seed? Uh, Emulga. Okay, it's called endosperm. Endosperm. It's a starchy kind of food. Try again, please. Green. This is Dateline Science for 15. Dateline for 15 points. Teams, Earl Monroe, Earl the Pearl, who used to play in the NBA, was so inventive in dribbling and handling the ball that his teammates nicknamed him for what inventor who came up with the incandescent? Ken Moore? Edison. Thomas Edison. They called him Thomas Edison. Yep. Okay, Hunter, your go. Science Popery for 15. Potpourri for 15 points. Teams, if you are a lacto-ovo-vegetarian, what two things will you eat? Hunter? Um, milk and uh, eggs. Milk and eggs, that's right. Lacto, milk, ovo, eggs. Good. Red? Let's get physical for 15. Let's get physical for 15 points. Teams, if you cook red cabbage in a frying pan, it turns blue because it turns less acidic. You can restore the red color if you add a dash of acetic acid, which is otherwise known 
Ken Moore? Uh, alkaline. Not alkaline, no. You can turn that red cabbage red again if you add a dash of acetic acid, which is otherwise known as what common liquid found around the kitchen. Um, is it a lemon, lemon juice? I don't know. Lemon, go. Lemon, juice. lemon juice. Vinegar. Vinegar is acetic acid. Try red. 80-70 the score. Kenmore, 10-point advantage. So, uh, science potpourri, 20. Science Pope Brief for 20 points. Teams, the most famous graph in all of Earth science is the Keeling graph that shows since 1958 the steady increase in this gas in our atmosphere. Samuel Ogle. Uh, yes, sir. Yes, sir. Carbon monoxide. No. Ken Moore, the steady increase since 1958, the Keeling graph shows for what gas? Carbon dioxide. Carbon dioxide, yes, good. Red. Uh, Dateline science for 20. Dateline for 20 points. Teams, tell me what scientist said this. The sun with all the planets revolving around it and depending on it can still ripen a bunch of grapes as though it had nothing else to do. Ken Moore? Uh, Copernicus. Not Copernicus, good try. Who might have said that, Samuel Ogle? The sun with all the planets revolving around it and depending on it can still ripen a bunch of grapes as though it had nothing else to do. Galileo. Galileo, yes indeed. Nice comeback. Go green. Zoo parade for 20. Zoo parade for 20 points. Teams, your question is as follows. It's a multiple choice question. Would you look at the monitor, please, in the studio? These baby barn owls, a parliament of owls is what they're called, exhibit altruistic behavior, meaning they all stay within 10 miles of each other as they grow up, they eat each other's feces, or they share their food with each other. Which of those is an example of altruistic behavior, Kenmore? The first one? Uh, they stay within 10 miles of each other. Nope, nope. Altruistic behavior, do they eat each other's feces, do they share food with each other, or do they stay within 10 miles of each other throughout their lives? Share food. Share food. They share food, absolutely right. Altruism is being kind to one's neighbor. Yes, that is rare among any animal. Go, green. Let's get physical for 10. Let's get physical for 10 points. Question is as follows. The integrity of your paper shopping bag could be compromised if this process takes place on the outside of your ice cream carton. Samuel Ogle. Condensation. Condensation, absolutely right. He gets the bag wet and there goes everything on the floor. The buzzer is rung. That was a quick first round. Our score right now, Samuel Ogle, 120. Right behind about 100 points. Kenmore, we'll be back with round two in just a moment. Don't go away. With video games, I'm always choosing between what my kids want and what I think is best for them. How about this one? Which is why I love these new rating summaries. They let me know exactly what's in the game. Players shoot lasers from an arm cannon. Robot enemies explode and limbs fly off. Maybe that other one's better. Yeah. Get your free game rating summary today. And with it, the world's most powerful weapon, knowledge. Experience Taekwondo, an ancient martial art and contemporary Olympic sport. Taekwondo seeks to bring together mind, body, and spirit while promoting sportsmanship, family values, and discipline. If you are looking to participate in a healthy lifetime activity that promotes self-control, integrity, and perseverance, then Taekwondo is the sport for you. The physical benefits of Taekwondo are many. Fitness, flexibility, better reflexes, and improved self-confidence. All of these attributes benefit young and old alike. USA Taekwondo member schools are considered to be the best at teaching the sport. Utilizing only the most professional and experienced instructors, USA Taekwondo schools are the only place to learn. So whether your dream is to win the Olympics or just learn self-defense and have fun, the USA Taekwondo school will take you on an amazing journey. To find a USAT member club here you and receive a free trial lesson, call 719-866. Or visit our website today. I always thought being a good mother meant raising my baby myself. But when I got pregnant, I realized I wasn't ready to be a parent. So I did something I thought I could never do. I chose adoption. It was really hard. But I know my baby is with a loving family and has a very bright future. Sometimes choosing adoption is being a good mother. 
Visit us at ichooseadoption.org. And welcome back to Size Bowl. Nice to have you here today in the second, second of two semifinal games as we head toward the middle school championship. All of today's contestants for having made it this far in our competition will be taking home an Audubon field guide and their choice of topics, birds, mammals, the night sky, fossils, anything that suits their fancy is our way of saying thanks for the wonderful work they've done. We're down to our final four, and two of them are here today. Let's find out a little bit more about them. If you missed them earlier in the season, let's go to Kenmore first and find out about uh, this team that has won more Science Bowl championships than any other in our 27-year history. Nine, so one year out of three, Kenmore has taken home the crown, Hunter. Not to put any pressure on you. Nice to have you here today. Who's the sponsor of your team? Uh, Dr. Chris. Dr. Chris, and he's out there rooting for you today. And who's the principal at your school? Miss Fudley. Wonderful. And she, too, has been there for a long time and knows yes. what the uh, Science Bowl has meant to Kenmore. Hunter, you had uh, an alternate on your team? Uh, yes, Uriel Sayre. Oh. Yeah, and we'll bring uh, him out in just a few moments. That'll be great. Tell us about uh, Kenmore. What makes it a special school for you? Well, recently they have so many after-school activities, and uh, especially competition-based. And one that I was in was, uh, it's called the Future City Competition. And it's where we design and build a futuristic city. Um, and recently we competed last month, and we got fifth place in the nation. So. In fact, I read about you on the front page of the Gazette and that beautiful model you put together, and I think it was set down on, along Calvert Cliffs. Is that right? Yes. Congratulations on that. That was, uh, that was quite an accomplishment. Fifth in the nation. Wow. And I also know that you competed in the county science fair recently, too. Yes. So you're just a great guy. Tell us about uh, what you want to do professionally someday. Well, I would like to be a physicist or something around that, uh, and probably work at some, somewhere like Fermilab or CERN in Switzerland. So. They'd be lucky to get you. Nice to have you back here today. Jorge, nice to have you with us today. Uh, computers in your future? Yes. Yeah. What do you do in your spare time if you're not online? Um, I like music a lot, so I've recently picked up playing guitar. I play piano, too, so, yeah. Wonderful. Were you part of the science fair this year? Um, no, this year I didn't um, get into the science fair. Very good. All right, well, you're a great competitor, and it's always good to have you back here. And Shilpa, welcome to you for the first time. You were an alternate before. Now you're up in the, in the big leagues, right? Yeah. Tell us about yourself. Tell us the Shilpa story. Well, I mean, uh, I really like science and math. Um, especially, and uh, I got interested in this because um, science has always been a favorite subject of mine, and yeah, I'm just here yeah. now. And you told me, though, that you have an interest in law um, mm -hmm. and, and not necessarily science for a career. Yeah. What got you interested in law? Well, uh, well, law, I like to debate. Mm -hmm. I like, yeah, um, like I'm in the debate team at school. Yeah. And Your colleagues are nodding over there, so they yes. know you like to debate and argue. Yeah. yeah. So you've been successful at that. Mm -hmm. Yeah. Well, nice to have you on the program. Keep up your good work. Let's go over to Samuel Ogle. Awesome. Nice to have you here today. Tell us the Samuel Ogle story. What is it about your school that makes it just a great place? They have a lot of different activities after school that you can do, and they have great teachers and staff, and the students are just great. Absolutely, including Hannah and Josh right here. And, and when you're talking about great teachers, Miss Maxwell has to be near the top of the list, your sponsor, right? Yeah. And she has been here year after year after year, coming so close, been the bridesmaid so many times, <laughs> not quite getting the Science Bowl Championship. I know she would like that for you guys this year, and uh, I know you're going to do your best not to disappoint her. You're doing a great job here today. Tell us uh, any alternates on your team, Austin. We have Ryan Rust Westbrook and Nancy Vu. Ryan and Nancy, we'll bring them out in just a few moments, and they too will be given those Audubon field guides for being integral parts of this team here. And before I leave you, Austin, any ideas where you're headed in the future? Well, I'm not really sure what I want to do for a job yet, yeah. but I know I'm going to go to Roosevelt next year. Well, they'll be lucky to get you there. Great school and a great program. Josh, how about you? You headed to Roosevelt? Um, no, actually, I'm going to the um, Bowie High School, and I'm going to be in the Summit. Um, yeah, the there. Summit program. Yes. Also, excellent choice there. Tell us, uh, tell us your story, Josh. I know you're a soccer player. Yes. Yeah. And what else do you do in your spare time? Um, I like to read, and I like to just um, play games, like play on the computer and on my TV. Yeah. On TV too. Absolutely. And professional goals? Um, I want to work at CERN. 
Yeah, so you and Hunter are going to have to get together and compare notes, maybe share a place over there someday, you know, economize. Good to have you back here. Hannah, nice to have you here, young lady who's interested in chemical engineering and actually wants to get her PhD and teach at the University of Maryland. I like the specificity in your goals there, Hannah. You know, at this young age, I'm very impressed by that. Uh, tell me what you do to have fun. Uh, I like to play soccer and read, and uh, I like to um, just keep up and listen to scientists such as uh, Neil deGrasse Tyson and Stephen yeah. Hawking. Absolutely, and you're the one who knew what Galileo said too, so you've been doing some good research there. Uh, before I leave you, what kind of books do you like? Um, I like uh, fantasy books, science fiction. Yeah. Well, you're doing such a good job here. We're, we're so happy to have you with us. All right, let's get back into our game. And the last correct question, let's see, came from the uh, green team. So start us out, please. Uh, Austin. Science potpourri for 10. Science potpourri for 10 points. Teams, when the last Apollo astronauts left the moon, they left behind a reflector so that we could always tell the distance the moon was from us by directing what concentrated... Ken Moore? A uh, laser. A laser, yeah. Concentrated light and bouncing it back. And the lag time there lets us know the exact distance. Good. Go. Red. Science potpourri for 25. Potpourri for 25 points. Teams, recently the newborn cubs delivered to the cheetah at the National Zoo were delivered through an incision, otherwise known as a C-section. Samuel Ogle? Cesarean. Cesarean. Cesarean section. Absolutely right. Good. Thank you, Hannah, for your assist. Go green. Dateline signs for 10. Dateline for 10 points. Teams, this is a fascinating story. During World War II, when British scientists thought that the Germans were going to invade, those that were working with penicillin rubbed it against their clothes so that the spores would be on their clothing so that they could take it out. Reason why there were spores was because penicillin is a kind of... Ken Moore? Fungus. Yeah, it's a kind of fungus. Yeah, good. Go red. Uh, body systems for 20. Body systems for 20 points. Teams, recently a critic commenting on the movie, Stoker, Do Not Disturb the Family, said, it's a shot of adrenaline to this part of your brain with two words, both beginning with C. A shot of adrenaline to your what? Cerebral cortex. Your cerebral cortex. Go red. Uh, body systems for 15. Body systems for 15 points. Teams, in addition to your regular ribs, you have five pairs of false or floating ribs, so-called because they do not attach to what bone? Sternum. They do not attach to what bone, Ogle? Sternum. Sternum, that's right. They're attached to the backbone, but not to the sternum. Green, go. Dateline science, 25. Dateline science for 25. Dateline science for 25 points, teams. One of the finalists in this year's Intel Science Talent Search was a young lady who came up with a wireless device that would transmit data from the heart to a cell phone. She came up with a digital EKG. What is an EKG? An electrocardiogram that monitors heart waves. Try again, green. Green things for 15. Green things for 15 points, teams. Interesting question. Listen carefully. Because bats use echolocation, in order to find a flower to visit and pollinate, it cannot depend, that bat, on odor or sight. It depends on um, what? Um, sonars. Sonar. Why? So sonar. So sonar. Mm, I need more information. Hearing. 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 No. No, Kenmore, bats, since they depend on echolocation, they have to find a plant not through its color or through its aroma, but through its what? What are they, what are they trying to respond to? Sound. No, shape. The shape of the plant. Echolocation bounces back. Try again, green. Superate for 15. Superate for 15 points, teams. Two-part answer. I need both parts. Teams, if I told you that the longest gestation period in the animal kingdom is 620 days, you would tell me what animal is pregnant for how many months? Um, hippopotamus for, um, in... Okay, what do we think? Hippopotamus for 24 months. Uh, no, good try. What animal, longest gestation period of any animal on earth, 620 days? So you would tell me what animal is pregnant for how many months? 
Uh, a hippopotamus for 20. Elephant for 20. Elephant for 20. Go green. Body systems for 10. Body systems for 10 points. Teams, multiple choice question. Teams, if you had a tear in your latissimus dorsi, would you find it very hard to kick, run, or row? Samuel Ogle. Um, run. Kick, run. run, or row. Run. Not run. No, you have a tear in your latissimus dorsi muscle, making it difficult for you to kick, run, or row. Uh, row. Row, yes. Latissimus dorsi is a back muscle. Rowing would be... Uh, complicated. Go. Red. Green things for 20. Green things for 20 points. Visual question. Look at the monitor if you would please. Beautiful shot of a maple seed. Botanists say that this seed is dipterous with good reason because it has what? Wings. Can more? Uh, wings. More? Fins. Uh, <gasps> judges? Symmetrical. Yes. Wings. All right. Two wings. Dipterous. The judges are giving you credit for that. Go. Uh, Zoo Parade for 25. Zoo Parade for 25. Big one in that category. Teams, you might say that pelicans do not have a very varied diet because they are almost exclusively ichthyophagous. <coughs> meaning what? They only eat fish. They only eat fish. They only eat fish. Yes, indeed. Good. Green. Body systems 25. Body systems for 25. Body systems for 25 points. Teams, if you could divide the human body perfectly in half, the mirror images would show that some organs are perfectly symmetrical. You've got two lungs, two kidneys, two hemispheres on either side of the brain. I will give you 25 points if you can give me two organs. Ken Moore? Uh, the lungs and the, uh, the ribs. No, no. Samuel Ogle, I'll give you 25 points if you can give me two organs that are asymmetrically placed. I gave you Liver some symmetrical brain. organs, lungs, okay. kidneys, and brain hemispheres. Two Liver organs that are asymmetrically placed. Liver and pancreas. You got them. Another one would have been the heart. Good. Green. Zoo Green parade thing. for 10. Zoo parade for 10 points. Teams, recently, disturbingly, we have learned that hippopotamuses have been reclassified as omnivores because they have been seen eating the carcasses of their own kind, meaning they are somewhat carnivorous and also that they are these. Um, Samuel Ogle. Okay, cannibalistic. Cannibalistic. Okay. Cannibal. cannibalistic. Absolutely, they're cannibalistic. They're eating their own kind. Go, green. Green things for 10. Green things for 10 points, teams. Because deer hate to eat these plants, probably explains why they have been around for millions of years. They grow very low in the forest. They reproduce by spores, and they are shade-loving, Kenmore. Not moss. Not moss. What low-growing plants in a forest that reproduce via spores have survived for millions of years because deer hate them? Mushroom. Mushroom. Ferns. Ferns. Try again, please. Green. Green things for five. Green things for five points. Teams, flowers have come up with the idea that they can lure bees to them with the same stimulant that Starbucks uses to lure us to their stores, Hunter. Caffeine. Caffeine. Caffeine-laced nectar in certain kinds of flowers. Go red. Uh, let's get physical for five. Let's get physical for five points. Teams, this substance, often described as a dispersion of solid particles in a gas, recently let us know if we had a new pope or not. Samuel Ogle. Smoke. Smoke. That's right. Black smoke or white smoke. Good. Green. Dateline for five. Dateline for five points. Teams, over the skies of San Francisco on March the 14th, Sky Riders put 314 digits from this number. Kenmore? Pi. Pi. It was Pi Day. Yes, indeed. Three questions left. Which? Potpourri for five points. Teams, well, silicon dioxide was the material that made up the glass in Cinderella's slipper. Aluminum trioxide, or corundum, was the material that made up this in Dorothy's slipper. Ruby. Samuel Ogle. Ruby. Ruby slippers. That's it. Good. Green. Body systems. Body systems for five. Body systems for five points. Teams, if you can't get a tune like Call Me Maybe out of your head, it's because you've got a worm in your what? Ken Moore. I would like to pass it to Jorge. Brain. Not your brain. You said you've got a worm in your what? Ear. Ear. In your ear. That's right. One of the new words of last year, an earworm. Last question of the game. 
Zoop prayed for five points teams because a lot of Americans don't want to eat what they can ride. People are getting all upset that this kind... Horse. Samuel Ogle. Horse. Horse meat. Absolutely right. Is appearing. And with that, we come to the end of our game. We'll be right back with a wrap-up. Don't you go away. I knew I needed help paying for college. I've always wanted to be a teacher. I used to make worksheets for my friends to do. No one ever wanted to come over. My guidance counselor told me about federal student aid, and my mom helped me fill out the free application. I got the grants and loans that made school possible. There is a way to pay for school. You just have to find it. My name is Caitlin. I'm going to be a special education teacher. I'm going to live my dream. For years, scientists have explored remote corners of the Earth, searching for exotic substances that might help prevent cancer. At last, man has discovered a secret place where powerful remedies can actually be found. Medical research shows that a vegetarian diet rich in fruits, vegetables and whole grains can help prevent many types of cancer. Wherever you live, cancer prevention is as close as your grocery store. To learn more, call 866-906-WELL. Thank you and welcome back to what was a great game here today, evenly matched teams. We're proud of all the efforts that everybody put forth here today. Our final tally, Kenmore 160 and Samuel Ogle 240. Congratulations to Josh and Austin and Hannah. It hasn't sunk in yet. Austin is not smiling as yet. He should be Miss Maxwell. Congratulations. Nancy and Ryan, I know how proud you are of this team. And Kenmore, let's see some smiles over here. So much talent. Jorge and Hunter and Shilpa you made a nice debut here today. Uriel, nice to have you part of the team. Dr. Chris, thank you for all that you did. And thank you for watching. We're headed to the finals at Samuel Ogle versus Highsville. Don't miss it. We'll see you then. Bye.